My name is Jerry Adams, I'm in Nishka. The Vancouver Aboriginal Friendship Centre is a centre of all cultural activity and uh, I work there. The Friendship Centre provided pancake breakfast this morning. I had a young man who was uh, our MC, did quite well. I uh, thought he learned quite a bit. And, uh, I was very impressed with his work. My name is Masako Patera Kadri. I work at the Canadian Forest Security Centre here in Vancouver. Uh, today we participated in National Aboriginal Day. Uh, we, Canadian Forces were part of the committee this year. Uh, we overlooked uh, transportation of the elders, um, also the hoop dancer, and just uh, doing uh, odd jobs here. They're transporting uh, the barbecue uh, back and forth. We also had a booth and also giving information about uh, the Aboriginal programs we have in the Canadian Forces. There's three of them, Raven, Bold Eagle, the Force Aboriginal Program. Uh, we're very proud, we felt very honoured and privileged to be here today. Uh, Aboriginal uh, community tradition is very strong in the Canadian Forces. Uh, we're trying to expand our numbers of Aboriginal representation in the Canadian Forces uh, just because of the tradition and uh, since Aboriginals are part of the Canadian community and part of this land, we want their values to be reflected in the Canadian Forces. Uh, my name is Michael Cook and I work for the Canadian Red Cross. Um, we worked with the committee this year throughout the year. We've provided the uh, water stations for the parade, two water stations, and we've provided the uh, first aid attendants. So we have two, uh, two volunteers, and then we had a volunteer for our, our own uh, information booth. Yeah, I have Tawiaka Dishing Cross Madodam. Uh, my first nation's name is Tawiaka, it means red feather in my language. Uh, my name, you'll know me as uh, Mr. Cass Thompson. I am the Aboriginal Youth Victim Support Worker for the Broadway Resource Centre, uh, the National Aboriginal Day Committee right now. And uh, what we do to do our part to make this thing such a success, we coordinate the youth into assisting the staff and the committee with certain responsibilities throughout the Detroit Lake celebrations. So not only are they putting a lot of specifics in themselves, uh, physically, but more importantly, as far as I'm concerned, they're also getting an emotional and spiritual attachment to it. Hi, my name is Nikki Walser, and I'm with the Urban Native Youth Association. And I'm Sarah Sandy, also with the Urban Native Youth Association. I'm Naomi Walser with 2010 Legacies Now. We had a combo booth with 2010 Legacies Now, a good partner of ours, uh, soccer ball. Today we've also provided the TP Village over there, so we have an elders tent, uh, a children's tent where there's face painting, youth tent, an adult tent, uh, TP, sorry. So there's lots of activity going on there, flute player. And then also we've had canoeing, so our the Urban Native Youth Association crew is heading out on the canoe journey tomorrow, so they're here kind of um, teaching people uh, the, the ropes of canoeing and having a good time. My name is Kristen Kozbeck. I'm the owner of Spearline Communications and the editor for Redway BC News. This is the fourth year that I've been involved with volunteering to support the National Aboriginal Day celebration here at Trout Lake. It has been an incredible day, um, absolutely beautiful weather. It's been really great to see not only a lot of the Aboriginal organizations, but tons of non-Aboriginal people coming to check it out and connect. It doesn't matter as long as people are connecting and learning about uh, the true story of Aboriginal people in Canada. It's great for everyone been really thrilled to provide some marketing support for this. We've put a special issue of Redway together, so we invite everyone from around Canada to send in their stories about what they did for National Aboriginal Day. Incredible performers, everybody from Kenny Starr to JB the First Lady and the whole dance crew, Rapture Rising, Art Napoleon, just an incredible mix of talented Aboriginal singers, First Nations performers, the little Mush and Bobs, Métis Jiggers. Hello, my name is uh, Harry Rumley. I'm the uh, coordinator here at the Trout Lake Community Centre. Just got finished winding up for a beautiful day uh, celebrating National Aboriginal Day. Uh, my role, I sat on the committee over the past year, uh, part of the organizing committee, and uh, we're very committed here at Trout Lake to supporting uh, uh, First Nations and celebrations such as this. A beautiful day for, for families, children, and everyone. Crystal Phillips with Vancouver Aboriginal Child and Family Services Society. Our organization was one of the partners and I was a um, chairperson for the committee that organized uh, National Aboriginal Day here at Trout Lake. We've been a part of the event for four years now. Our, our contribution is always like taking care of the small pieces and making sure we have finances in place. Today was great, it was like peaceful and quiet. 
good. Everyone enjoyed themselves. I had a great day. Uh, yes. A lot of fun. Great entertainment. Hope to see you next year at Trout Lake. So we're very happy and proud to be here. Thank you for having us. People are having fun. There's lots of great food and uh, so yeah, there you have it. And I guess uh, looking forward to next year. So that's what Aboriginal Day is all about. It's been part of the community. Uh, celebrating for our youth and our elders. And just the families. To me that's all we need to do for our this morning, my youth were coming up to me and they were saying, Cass, why is it cold here? Why is it not sunny? My response to them was that because there's a parade happening at the Friendship Centre, which is about a half an hour away from us, that's where the sun is, and the sun is over with the elders. The sun will get here. Well, you know, 11.30 came along, when all, uh, sorry, 12.30 came along, as well as the, how the paraders, the sun came along with them.